You think he won't notice? Why should he? Notice what? There's nothing to notice. There's nothing to notice. Your cheeks are practically scarlet from the shame of last night. Last night was just saying goodbye to an old friend. Last time I checked, friends don't do that. Besides, it was a one-time thing, a, a mistake. It will never happen again. But you want it to, don't you? Don't be ridiculous. I was drunk. People do ridiculous things when they're drunk. And what's worse is, even though it's written all over your polished little face, James would never even suspect. Poor fool, he's got you on a pedestal, thinks you're perfect. That's not my fault. It's not? No, I never said I was perfect. Oh, but you did, with your sweater sets, your pearls, your Ivy League degree, your unrivaled culinary skills your contributions to charity, the immaculate presentation of your home, how welcoming you were to his parents. Sounds very tiring. Maybe that's why you enjoyed last night so much. Mark doesn't treat you like an angel sent from heaven. He sees through that Stepford wife facade, right through your skin, right to the raw truth of it. That's enough. Admit it. You loved it, the thrill of it, the excitement. No! The way he touched you, made you feel things, made you ache with passion. Stop it! Stop it! He didn't make love to a princess on a pedestal. He fucked you like the whore that you are, and you loved it. No! No! Sarah? Sarah? You okay? Yes, yes, I'm... I'm okay. I'm... I'm perfect. <laughs>